One, Tom, the Wonder Boy. Tom was a very intelligent boy. One day, his father took to the house of a rich and powerful friend of his. Tom's father told his friend, he's a prodigy. I've never come across a boy more intelligent than him. He has answer for everything. The friend was a snob and considered himself to be the most intelligent person in the whole country. Glancing at Tom, he said, he doesn't seem to be intelligent. In any case, the more intelligent a boy is the duffer he becomes as a man. At this, Tom innocently said, if this is true then, as a boy you must have been even more intelligent than I am. 2. Two Burdened Asses Once upon a time, two asses were walking along laboriously, very tired under their burdens. One was carrying salt and the other, cotton. When they were crossing a river, the ass laden with salt stumbled and fell into the water. When it got up, it started walking more smoothly than earlier. Seeing this, the ass carrying the cotton sat down in the river and then got up, hoping that its burden would be lighter. The salt got dissolved in the water, but the cotton soaked up the water and became heavier. The poor as nearly drowned under the added weight. 3. Who is better? One day, an argument occurred between a monkey and an elephant about who was better among them. They both went to a lion for settlement. The lion said, go across the river. There you will find a mango tree. Whosoever gets a mango from there will be considered better. Both went to the river. The river current was very strong. The elephant mocked the monkey, sit on my back. I will take you across the river. On reaching across the river, the monkey jumped on the tree and plucked a mango. Then he mocked at the elephant, now say who is better. Had I not been there, how would you have plucked the mango? They both returned to the lion and told their stories. The lion said, you both are better in your own ways. For, wise are seldom taken in. There were a large number of birds in an aviary. They were well protected over there. Unluckily, an infectious disease broke out in the aviary. As a result, most of the birds fell ill. The keeper felt worried and went looking for a doctor. The time he was inquiring for a doctor, a cat overheard his talk from which he came to know that the birds in the aviary were unwell. So, the wicked cat started making plans to reach the aviary some way or the other as she knew that, once inside, she could easily kill many birds and eat them up. Thinking hard, she decided to enter the aviary as a doctor. So, she disguised herself as a doctor, took up a chest of medicines and approached the aviary door. The wicked cat asked the birds, How are you? I have come here to cure you. Here are the medicines for your treatment. Wisely, the birds replied, We are quite all right and need no nursing. So, kindly leave us alone. This way, the birds saved themselves from becoming the food of the wild beast. 5. A Confused Mind The word confusion sometimes makes you spin your head and lose everything. Sometimes it brings you a new idea and gets you on right path. As I grow older, I have more and more responsibilities and obligations to myself and my dear ones. 
Basically, I have had a very simple family background that they, my parents, themselves are struggling for their day-to-day -day life happening. As I talk to my parents, I get to know that they are still not in a good financial status. One of the major reasons why I was sent to India was just to relieve their financial burden and extra belly in a family with limited means of livelihood. Honestly, sometimes I feel that I am nowhere fit in this world. I am like a good guy that lost in a crowd with oh yes I think that I remember that guy but, even though I go to work regularly reading a lot about business and idea, a part of me is like where I am now. Obviously a guy getting close to 30 years old needs to have a decent job and a woman of his taste. Here I am like parachute hanging on the tree. My close and dear ones are worried about my future and a woman that partner with me. They try to hook me up with a desi gal in abroad, so that I have more comfortable life rather than working hard in India with little here and there. However I am still like I don't know about marriage and need some more times to think. It's odd times for me. Hopefully that confused mind won't drain my energy and lose temper. Our beliefs totally depend on our everyday attitude. Reading and writing stuffs may help me to get on celebration. 6. Health is wealth. Once upon a time, there was a king who was very lazy. He did not like to do anything. He waited for his attendants to serve him every moment. He used to lie on his bed always. A time came when he really became inactive. Only eating good food and its sleeping made him fatty. So fat he became that he could not move around by himself. He felt sick, doctors were called in to treat him. Nothing could help him to become fit and fine. The king was a kind-hearted and cordial person. All his subjects were sorry to learn about the fact that their king was not well. One day the minister met a holy man, Sadhu, on the outskirts of the city. While conversing with each other, the Sadhu came to know the fact that the king was unwell. He told the minister that he could cure the king. Hearing this the minister's face brightened. He arranged immediately for a meeting of the sadhu and the king. The sadhu saw the depressed king for a while and then spoke nothing serious had happened and that the king would be all right. From the next day the treatment would start. He asked the king to come to his hut which was at a distance from the palace. The king had to come on foot to the hut. The king agreed, after so many years the king came outside to walk on the road. His ministers and attendants accompanied him. By the time he reached the sadhu's hut, he was breathless, sweating and uncomfortable. The sadhu came out of the hot noticing everything. He offered cool water to the king. The king felt better. The sadhu brought out an iron ball, the size of a football and gave it to the attendants asking his majesty that daily morning and evening he had to roll that ball in the palace grounds. The king okayed to the sadhu and left. After fifteen days when the sadhu came to the palace to meet the king, he had lost a considerable amount of weight, was feeling much better and was active. All his sickness had disappeared. In spit a lot of wealth, the king was not happy as he was unhealthy. So the moral is health is wealth.